Welcome to Bad Radio. Bad stands for Business at a Distance. This is a show about local businesses and business networking. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are a live show and you can listen to us on 1055 FM, 660 AM. You can also listen to us online at floridamanradio.com or download the Florida Man Radio app. In addition to that, if you have the iHeart rap, uh, rap <laughs> app, you can, uh, in the search bar, just search for Florida Man Radio and there we are. My, I'm your, uh, uh-huh. my friend said you could say, Alexa, play bad radio on iHeartRadio. Oh, my and God. It works. Oh, that's so cool already. That's like made awesome. my whole day. <laughs> 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 there you go. I'm going to have to start putting that in my uh, beginning <laughs> stuff. Um, I'm your host, Angela Smarito. And in studio with me, we have DJ Heather, the producer. Hello, hello, hello. And back with me is my very good friend and co-host, Emily Murphy. So glad to have you back. We missed you last week. Yeah, me too. It was a different, it was a different I feel like I've got the whole family back today and I'm really happy (laughs) but yeah it was weird because we pre-recorded the show and I didn't have like the music and all that other stuff to kind of cue me and Heather's like okay go (laughs) (laughs) just give me a countdown I'll I'll put it all together and no one will ever know (laughs) oh and speaking of having the family back I'm super excited to have Melissa Jacob with Striking Brand Uh, she's back on her vacay in Italy um I know I have the pictures just living vicariously through you. I can't wait to sit down and like just do a play by play. Um, But Melissa has been doing the videos for um, Bad Radio now, and we've decided to make it a permanent thing. So I wanted to announce and give a special thank you to um, Dr. James Bowles, Lake Mary chiropractor, who will be sponsoring the video portion of Bad Radio. So thank you, Dr. James. Um, You can check out all of Melissa's work at strikingbrands.com. Um, all right. So if you're looking to help lose fat in those stubborn places and you need a little help or you have uh, problems with your irrigation system, we have you covered. Please welcome Alyssa Soleil, owner of Diamond Cryo in Winter Park. Hi. Hi. How are you? You're so sweet. <laughs> Alyssa's a little nervous today, but I love it. She looks beautiful. Um, and returning to Bad Radio and one of our main sponsors, please welcome back Rick Hall with Ground Up Property Services. Happy Sunday. Mm-hmm. Happy Sunday. He's got his Sunday's best on. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Um, you can call or text us at any time. The number is 321-339-1055. Again, that's 321 321- Three three nine one zero five five, and this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by none other than Ground Up Property Service. So if you notice those brown patches in your lawn or other areas that consistently have too much water buildup, call Rick today and have him come out and inspect your system. It could save your lawn and help your mental state knowing that your lawn is going to look great. Um, you can reach Rick at 407-468-4295 or it's groundupinc.net, right? Correct. Yep. All right, perfect. And then also thank you to Liberty Property Inspections. They specialize in home and commercial building inspections, environmental inspections, roof certifications, and roof um, inspections. Mike and Tina Heyman have built a top-notch inspection business, and they can help you save money. They help me save money with wind mitigation. Um, so it just brought my insurance down. Have you guys ever done that? Got your, yes. got your wind mitigation? Yes. So, um, Absolutely. Yeah, no, it saved me some money. Um, you can reach them at 407-739-5795. Um, I'd also like to thank Four Seasons AC, Do-It-Yourself Pest Control in Fern Park, and Angela Keene's Hair and Makeup. All right, my dear Emily. How's things in your world? <laughs> <laughs> a little tired today after our big event yesterday. I know. But it was really Tell exciting. everybody about it. It was yeah. so fun. So we had eight of uh, my girls who have had some big transformations come in, and we did a professional photo shoot mm-hmm. put on oh. by Angela, and we had hair and makeup done and video and everything. It was so awesome. And it was. The and girls loved it. When I was done, I was exhausted, but it's got that same vibe of when the show is over and you're just like, wow, that really just happened and you feel good. And I just, I, all I wanted to do is go home and start editing those pictures. I just wanted to see them so bad. Um, but then I, you know, I had to go home and like do some other things. <laughs> and so finally I was like, finally I'm like, okay, nobody bother me. Cause I want to sit down and look at these. Um, and I was telling Tom about how timid so many of them started up and then by the, um, 
by the time we were done, we had some straight up sirens on our hands. Yeah, they were they're just like, like next outfit. They were coming back <laughs> for more. It was it was great. It was so great. Well, um, you have an amazing business, and I love. I mean, I know that it it means a lot to you to see them feel beautiful and happy, and um, it really meant a lot to me. So I appreciate you yeah. giving me the opportunity to be included in that. Yeah, thank um, you. Mm -hmm. And then what do we got on uh, the show tonight? Tonight we're going over the reasons you just might not be getting anywhere in your weight loss journey. Okay, so that's I, a good one. I'm giving like solid lists of things that, you know, you go down and check the boxes. Like these are things that are, are probably holding you back. Mm -hmm. And they're just a lot, a lot of them aren't things people even think about. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, no, I think that that's fantastic. Because I remember the one time you were talking about all the stuff all the sensory overloads because I remember you mentioned the candles because I love my candles but everything stuff like that does matter if you've got so much <laughs> environmental toxins yeah. and bogging oh. down your system yep lotions I, I know <laughs> I tried to light a candle at her <laughs> during the shoot yesterday she's like yeah it's not gonna work <laughs> The smell. I'm sensitive to the smell. I know my my mom and dad are too. But um, just so everybody knows, uh, Bath and Body has um, oh my God. they're not listening. <laughs> they you want to go directly disrupt your endocrine system? Go shop at Bath and they've, Bath and Body. But they've got works. the fall scents out, and they've yeah. got a twenty percent coupon. Yeah. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Spend money to Buy disrupt one, your hormones. <laughs> But so I'm sorry, the fall you. scents are They're so, so good. bad for you. You should get them to sponsor us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, I would, you know what? If it was up to me, I'd have candles burning all over uh, this joint. It's I, hot enough in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to. Uh, one time, I brought in one of those. <laughs> good reason. I brought in one of those like ones that you hook into your outlet, oh, and okay. I put it in upside down, and all the oil <gasps> leaked onto the carpet, <laughs> and so the whole station <laughs> privileges no, it stunk for a while. It, it reeked like. <laughs> Spice pumpkin. <laughs> oh, that's the worst one. And so everybody true. was like, oh, "So I'm banned from oh, bringing in so my scents to the to the radio station." We could try an essential oils diffuser. I'm open to that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not opposed to scents. Uh -huh. I'm just opposed to like ones that disrupt Toxins. your hormones. I have blue a uh, blueberry pancake right now. Oh, that is not an essential gross. oil. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wonderful. It's kind of it makes is, me hungry. It is <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is wonderful. All right, so everybody tune in tonight to the Go Get Them show. It's at 8 p.m., and you're going to hear from Emily, and I think that it's going to be well worth your while, so tune in. Um, all right, so two weeks ago, I introduced a segment, um, which is the business tip of the week, and I'm willing to give somebody a bad radio shirt if you help me come up with a cool name for it, besides business tip of the week, because it needs to be a little bit cooler than that. Um, and our winner last week was Alvin with, I want to say it's Graffier, uh, Graffier Promotions, you know Alvin. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that right? Not sure. Yeah. Um, well, Sorry. his tip was, it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So that was a good one. So this week, I went through all of the submissions, and I am happy to announce, drum roll, please. She has one. Oh, you do. <laughs> Rick on. does too, though. You just had it on. <laughs> no, I had the applause on. Uh, oh. Yeah. But <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang okay. On. We're going. We're going. Oh, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Oh, wait. Anyway. Rick's will have to do. Uh, <laughs> he is banging on the table here. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> and our winner is Renat Halat with Renat Halat Photography, who submitted, there will always be setbacks. Your job is to always keep going despite them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. All right. So that struck home with me because when you get struck with blows, especially in radio, it can be really hard to come back because... When people cancel, that's your money. And that's really what it boils down to. Um, and just this week, I was recognized as having the biggest comeback for Q2. Um, radio, I meant most people can know, is not for the faint of heart. Um, at the beginning of the year, I was pacing to have a record year. Um, but then I had some cancellations that were just out of my control. There's things, um, market uh, businesses, that things like that, that. And I got set back pretty pretty damn bad um and i'm and it's hard not to get discouraged you know, yeah, especially like i said when you're rolling you're like man this is going to be the best year ever um so anyway like long story short um my boss lisa and jvc they they just recognized that i didn't give up and um i got a cool mm. little little plaque 
thing that uh-huh. says, That's you awesome. know, best comeback. So congratulations, Renat, and thank you for submitting that. And as I said, that she's going to get a bad radio shirt. And so each week, you guys, I am going to be posting that in Business at a Distance, and I would love to get your input on that. Um, and then this is also something that I was bringing up too. So Rick, if you had an opportunity to talk to Rick 20 years ago, what would you tell yourself as far as business goes? I would have uh, probably gone to school uh, for business um, rather than what I went to school for, uh, which was criminal justice. So <laughs> That's totally... fascinating though. Oh, it's yeah, it is. Uh-huh. It is, uh, but it's it's not even on the same spectrum. Yeah. yeah. I think that happens to a lot of us is that we yeah. go to school for things that, for trades right. that we don't end up in. Um, what about you, Alyssa? What kind of advice would you give to a young Alyssa? Because uh-huh. you're, you, I mean, both of you guys own your own business. You're responsible for your own leads. You're responsible for your own income, and yeah. that's hard. And so, I mean, mm-hmm. so is um, Emily over here, and then Melissa, and I mean, like, I'm employed by JVC, but you guys are your own, like, boss and employee. So, what would you think you would tell yourself? Um, Speak up. You're, gonna, get a little bit you're going to be a business owner is a really big one because I never expected that. <laughs> um, definitely piggybacking off what you say. Definitely go to school to for some type of business. I was lucky enough to have um, a mentor help me with that. But like you said, you just can't give up on yourself. You're gonna have really low times and really high times, and then eventually all your hard work will definitely pay off. Absolutely. Yes, it will. And I think that that is so, so important. But I, I, how did you, how many of you guys in here really thought that when things were said and done that you're gonna be responsible for your own? I never thought that I was gonna be a salesperson working on 100% commission. Never, I never well. even thought I could do that, uh-huh. yeah. How did you end up getting a mentor? Um, so my aunt out in Texas, she has three cryo spas and she's the one who came to me and asked me if it was a business opportunity I would like to go into. Okay. So, so for the first full year, she was my mentor. I worked with her for six months. Then she came to Florida for six months and she set me up and basically like helped me with everything. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. Not a lot of people get that. So yeah. I'm extremely blessed yeah. to have that. You've worked with mentors before too, haven't you? Yeah. But I always knew... I was going to have to work for myself. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> but um, but I've had, I have business coaches mm-hmm. and sales coaches and things. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but I mean, as far as, but I know that you always go to a lot of people to get input. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never met anybody that is in search of information more than you as far as like doing your research on different things. And so, but I mean, so you, you might want to work for yourself, but you still take in everybody's input. Oh, yeah. And uh, I mean, going back 20 years, I would have said to myself, like, do that sooner or hire out the things that I didn't know how to do sooner right. rather than trying to learn to yep. do everything. Because that's a really slow way around when you're mm. just trying to wear all the hats and trying to learn you're only making money at the pace you're learning that's a slow pace (laughs) (laughs) yes and too and stuff and we're also not all good at everything of business either yeah we all have our weaknesses Mm -hmm. yeah so then that's when we bring in other people to help us yeah I, i think that so much is important is being able to feel comfortable reaching out and asking for help and getting right. that information and um networking is such a huge way to do that because i know that if somebody asks me for help especially if it's in radio or something that i know about mm-hmm. i'm going to help them because i want to right um, people want to generally help other people and that's mm-hmm. just the way that it it happens and so um but anyway we are i, I don't know is that 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming up to a break, and when we get back, we're going to talk about how to get rid of those pesky love handles and that super annoying tummy pooch, so stay tuned. Florida Man Radio. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. Hey, and welcome back. And just a reminder, you can call and text in at any time to 321-339-1055. This portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Impact Electric of Orlando, who focuses on residential and commercial electrical work. The great thing about Zach and his team is they are quick to respond. He's so dedicated to his business as employees, not to mention just his incredible knowledge in the field. Zach was on last week and we talked a lot about that. And it's and when you talk about it, it's pretty fascinating. I mean, he can tell the electrical work on people's house just by the, the year, the decade it was built in. Um, 
You can call Impact Electric at 407-747-0874. And also, I uh, wanted to thank Andrews Law PA, Renee Sterling, our mortgage expert, and Sheepdog Promotional Products. Before the break, I mentioned losing those love handles and toning that tummy. Please welcome Melissa Soleil, owner of Diamond Cryo, to the show. Hello. Thank you for having me. How oh, I know you're nervous and you're adorable. <laughs> but you know what? I was nervous, too. Actually, I still get nervous. So, um, But during the first segment, we talked a little bit about um, having that mentor. So I think that that's kind of fascinating. So you said it was your aunt. So how many diamond cryos does she have? She has three cryo spas at the moment. Is that okay? So is that what yours is considered a, a spa? A yeah, cryo spa? Yes, cryo spa. Um, I'm solo. She has more of businesses where. So I work personally just by myself. She has more businesses where she she doesn't she's not at the spa anymore. So she has managers and then people who hey, work at those spas. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about the science behind this dime the cryo. So it's actually really, really simple. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is. So basically it's just a process called apoptosis. And um, scientifically all we're doing is heating up your fat cells um, for about two minutes. Uh, you don't look any different on the outside. This is all happening underneath your skin. It doesn't affect any of the other tissue except for the adipose tissue. After that, it's gonna go for about 15 to 20 minutes um, from negative four to positive four. Anywhere in that scientifically is the fat freezing zone. Um, so once you're there, we're going to get those fat cells nice and crystallized, kind of like a marble. Mm -hmm. um, then after that, we're going to go back to the warm, and that is going to burst the fat cell. Um, so It sounds really dramatic. <laughs> it, it does. It does. It sounds really cool. Really, it's kind of like a cold massage. You don't really feel much. Um, and then we also have the shockwave at our location, which everyone doesn't have, which is basically a vibration plate, but kind of in a handheld form. Mm -hmm. um, so and you it, can like pinpoint. Yes, exactly. So we have different kind of heads for that. So we can do wider area areas or pin more pinpointed areas, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, and you get 10 to 15% more fat cell death that way. And it is a permanent fat loss. Once we destroy that fat cell, it's not coming back. So we get most of the fat cells we're going to get through adolescence. And when we get older, it's up to us to inflate or deflate those fat cells. So once we're permanently getting rid of those fat cells, they're not going to come back. Mm -hmm. So I know that this is what happens a lot is people's like, people are like, oh, I can just pay for this and then I don't have to eat healthy and exercise. That's not the way it... Not at all. So I consider this a stepping stone to go with your weight loss journey. So you definitely need to work out um, at least two to three times a week. You need to eat healthy or else this is for nothing. Do not go to Chick-fil-A before you come see me or right <laughs> afterwards. Um, I've definitely had people come in and like literally throw away a fast food bag. And I'm like, you're throwing away your money. Like this is something for yourself to really better yourself. Um, so you're just going to get twice the amount of the results you would and then you can actually target an area which is very hard to do by just going to the gym well that's what i'm doing yes because I mean, um i got this photo shoot coming up and so i'm really focusing on my diet and my nutrition and then i'm w working with um Alyssa on my tummy right here <laughs> yes yes it's going well and i had a lady call me yesterday she's having tummy tuck surgery in january um, and she's just coming to me so she can lose the weight faster so that she can have a better result after her tummy tuck surgery, mm -hmm. which is completely fine. I mean, cryo is really for everyone. Anything that you want to do, you don't have to perfect your body. You can just fix any area that really bothers you a little bit mm -hmm. or you can go all the way with it. So it's very simple. Um, not a lot of contraindications, mm -hmm. um, something that pretty much anybody can do. Right. Um, well, what are some of the main areas that you see people coming in for? I know for me, my my lower abdomen ever since I've had kids has been my nemesis. I hate it. Yes. And I would say that's 90 percent of everybody that comes to me. Women, it's their abdomen, um, inner thigh and their arms. Mm -hmm. uh, for like men, this back right yes, here. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, also, the bra roll has been really big lately. I think it's because of summer and being in a bikini. But the bra roll line has been what's bothering everyone. Something that they can't work out on their own. What is it? The bra roll right under where your oh, bra is. Gotcha. Yes. Upper back kind of mm -hmm. area. Yes. I call that back fat. Yes. Yeah, so do I, but I have to make it sound better, right? <laughs> <sound prettier. laughs> um, also, for men, it's always the love handles or kind of the, the gut. Um, oh, come on. Dad else. bods are totally in right, <laughs> right now. <laughs> I know, but for some reason, they hate, they hate those love handles. Um, and the double chin slimming is really, really popular right now. Everybody is kind of into Tell that. me about that. So people can get, like, their neck? 
stuff done? Definitely. And it's very simple. It's about a 12 <laughs> minute like process. Huh? Yes. Yeah. It's about a 12 minute process. It's the same thing. We use a wand with a little bit of ultrasound gel. And we glide back and forth. It's going to heat up those fat cells, do the same thing. And then we're going to freeze those fat cells. And then it's going to go back to warm and burst those fat cells. Then I use a little bit of radio frequency to kind of help tighten up that area afterwards as well. Do you have to go to school like get certification in order to learn all this stuff and yes. work on people so yes. what does that entail so cryo skin right now kind of has their own certification their own school um i'm an esthetician so i kind of have some kind of skincare background in general um but right now what it looks like is they train you for about i did it for about six months i don't know if everybody has to do it that long um my aunt is actually a cryo skin trainer so they mm -hmm. have people all over the u.s who do that and then you go to new york for three days and then you get assessed by them and one of their okay. trainers and then they um give you your certification so not just any mm -hmm. joe that's a millionaire definitely can buy not. a machine and like start definitely not and i've had a lot of people come to me and tell me that they've gone to places where people get their hands on Chinese machines and things oh, that gosh. aren't as great and they've been burned all the way across their abdomen or they know someone who has yeah. because really you really can't get hurt doing this if you know what you're doing you have to stay in a certain temperature range you have to know how much fat how much muscle where there isn't fat you don't want to freeze anything anywhere else um but Does if it hurt you're not when they pop no, you don't feel anything. I don't really. feel. I haven't. I, I, I was anything. just wondering because you're like you're freezing it and then you're popping this marble and I don't know. I don't know. It sounds. Yeah. It, sounds <laughs> it does sound intense. Um, and I didn't mention. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna lose all this. Your lymphatic system is gonna absorb it. Um, so you're really just gonna go home, drink water, and you're gonna urinate it out. So for the next seven to fourteen days, your results will continue to get better as you lose those fat cells. Um, so I had also, because I, like I said I always do a lot of research. I know a lot of people are saying that it creates like dimples and stuff like that. I I don't see that at all. No, one of the great things about the shock wave is that it evens out cellulite. Um, so your body gravity works, and so as you lose those fat cells, everything is going to kind of slim itself out, and then. With the shock wave, what it does is it's evening out those fascia levels and really getting the dimples out of your skin. Um, but that is not forever. So you do have to kind of keep up with it. So the cryo toning is what we would consider that. And that's really just evening out the fascia, getting rid of dimples and fine lines. Um, and that's also what we do on the face and neck mm -hmm. as well. Um, but that's definitely things you have to t take care of. And if you don't, we tell you to come back once a year, just kind of get that area rejuvenated, and then you can come right back. Okay. Um, so, so what are some of the, do people buy it in sets like packages? Yes. We always recommend at least three to five per area. Um, we have packages from three all the way up to 12. Um, mm -hmm. and we don't sell per area. I mean, we don't sell per area. We sell per package. So you can use five on your, your abdomen or five on your arms or two here, two here. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. It's very customizable. Mm -hmm. And you have, um, get it like the more you buy is it like the thing where you get better value definitely the bigger yes. the packages you buy yes. um where can everybody find all that information um diamondcryo.net i have all the information on there um you can also visit my instagram instagram.com slash diamond underscore cryo i also have facebook diamond cryo and you can also reach out to me on any of those platforms and i will definitely get back to you and what do you see as kind of like your biggest selling to told before and after photos Definitely. It's actually been very hard lately. A lot of people don't want to show their before and after photos. It's very personal for them. Um, yeah, I it get is a that. very personal experience. Yeah. So when I get people that want to do it, I get very excited. But I you could do not have to do before and after photos. But yes, that definitely helps. Also, I have a lot of people tell me that I explain the whole process to them while I'm doing it. Um, and as we're going through it and if they've done cryo somewhere else, they're like, wow, nobody ever told me any of that. They didn't tell me like how things were going to go the whole time. And it makes you feel a lot more comfortable to have someone that really knows what they're doing and telling you as they're doing it. Yes. And you have a very calming personality. That's what I find with you is that you're very confident and calm. And the fact that she's a mother of four <laughs> makes me even respect you that much more. <laughs> yes. I have the patience to do this. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, another thing that I've been dying to ask you, because you were talking about getting burned. How how does that work where it's like, how does it get past your skin and into that part of your body? So as you've done it, so right. we use that skin protector, that fat freeze membrane to protect your skin and everything to go with it. So a lot of people who are just buying machines, 
nobody's telling them you need to buy an extra thing to go with it or you need to use a certain thermal gel so that the cold isn't going to affect the skin Mm -hmm. um so they're just throwing them straight on top of the skin which you cannot do right okay so that's that's really what protects it um and when somebody does get froze their skin get frozen does it heal oh yes but it's kind of like a sunburn but it's a it's a cold burn same kind of thing you're going to blister and it's going to go right back over because i was thinking about if you make those fat cells bust and they never come back i was like what if you did like permanent damage to somebody's skin that would be horrible horrible it is i mean i've had people call and ask that's the first thing they ask me because they've had horror stories with their friends Mm -hmm. um going to places that don't know as much or they're not certified you can definitely just say you are and you're Mm -hmm. not so it's definitely good to go to someone that is certified knows what they're talking about and Mm -hmm. just in general and so tell me what an ideal client is for you honestly an ideal client um someone who's going to follow a good diet comes in says they're low carb um and you don't have to be low carb your whole life just only while you're doing your treatments is going to make them that much better um and then just drink a lot of water if you don't like to drink water this probably isn't for you Um, (laughs) you don't have to drink tons of water but you do have to be on top of it and consistent if you do not want like to stick to things you're not going to have good results with cryo okay i like that because i think that's a very important to stick with stuff if you're going to commit to it commit to it a hundred percent so we're coming up to break and when we get back we are going to dive into those mud puddles left on your yard from overwatering. so stay tuned florida man radio Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. And I am going to second that because this portion of Bad Radio is sponsored by Premier Couple Superstore because couples that play together do stay together. So you cut out the middleman and go straight to the source. Premier Couple Superstore has everything from sexy bedroom outfits, toys, games, and everything in between. Also, I wanted to give a huge thank you to our artistic beauty in Winter Park and our very own uh, Alyssa with Diamond Cryo. Um, so as mentioned before, the break um who's got water built up in their yard does anybody know right now like those pu- those puddles that kind I'm of like waiting for some i we think <laughs> i think we need a little more rain <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's um, up in a lot of areas we've there. had a lot this week yeah, yeah. this week finally yeah. um because Overwatering your lawn can be just as bad as underwatering it. And I know that because we've had Rick Hall with Ground Up in a few times and he's back in with us today. So hi Rick. Hello. How are you doing? It's been hot. Yes. <laughs> um, and that's really, I mean, I've been dying to ask you, how do, how do you recommend people deal with this crazy Florida weather? Because it goes from scorching hot to a downpour to scorching hot to, you know what I mean? How do you know how to keep, how well, to keep your water? This, this season that we're in is, is hard on us and it's also hard on grass. Mm-hmm. I mean, grass is a living plant. All right. So with the constant sun, heat, water, sun, heat, water, you know, your lawn gets sick too. I yeah. mean, just like what we would. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's been a battle. Um, we're getting a lot of calls, uh, right now from uh, people that are having brown spots in their yard. And I'm like, well, it's not a water issue, yeah. I, you know, uh, th- and you know, overwatering, um, does cause fungus. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of, a lot of people are dealing with that in their yards right now. Mm-hmm. But you don't, you just work with the irrigation yes, system, right? Correct. But you can, I mean, you can say this is, but you can go and monitor and see why there's too yeah, much water. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times they think that they have a broken irrigation head, yeah. you know, which is why my yard's turning brown. Well, you know, and I go out there um, and, you know, it's not a water issue. It's, you know, it's a fungus issue or or they have sod webworm going on right now, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Um, I have that in my um, do-it-yourself pest control commercial. Yeah. What is that? It, it is a, uh, it's a little worm that eats the leaf of the grass mm. and they multiply really fast and um, just a lot like a, what, a, what a chinch bug does. But usually um, they won't kill the lawn like a chinch bug. Um, they just eat the leaf. Gotcha. Um, so, so how do you, like I said, with all this craziness, how do you really work with somebody's on? You just tell us the well, st- process. Well, first, 
first, we need to make sure that that the system is balanced. Uh, a, a lot of yards, and we were just at one this last week. They had rotors and sprays on the same zone and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And you're not you're not putting out the same coverage. Okay, I'm flooding one area to try to water another area. Okay. Okay, so we're 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 not balanced, and that's big. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. find that when um, people set their own up or? Um, you, how does that happen? Well, this last one that I was at, they went with the less expensive company out there to do it, and <sighs> um, how dare they? <laughs> yeah, and Paying but for it. yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, so now we're we're actually going in in, in two weeks, and we're going to fix them up right uh, because they are overwatering. It's the irrigation company you wish you called first. <laughs> you just stole Brian Hastings' <laughs> slogan. I'm sorry, Brian. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's um, that's the first. That's one of the first steps. The second step is always make sure that you have a rain sensor on your house and that it is working. Uh, a lot of people don't check them. A lot of people uh, we're actually using a lot of the wireless ones now. Uh, and you know, those, those batteries and them only last two to three years, Okay. you, you know? Um, so it's, it, it's just maintenance. And when I go out and, and, and we put on a rain sensor and stuff like that, I usually have it set for right around a half inch of rain. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. I mean, um, you, you know, if it waters, it, if we're getting an inch of rain, you don't want your system coming on, but if we're only getting a sprinkle, you also don't want it to turn off either. I know, but it can't. Can it do it by sensors? Like yes, wing? they do. Oh, okay. Yes, they do. Um, uh, so, I thought it was all timers. Well, the, it, there's a there's a sensor that tells the timer what to do. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so when the sensor is hooked up and it's working properly, um, when when it's when we get a lot of of, of rain. It, it will actually turn the timer off. And then when it dries off, it'll turn it back on. Oh, that's brilliant. See, I didn't you even know, know that. <laughs> yeah. um, Does she have a rain sensor? I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of having recall. She I doesn't know. even know, and it's probably working for her. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> My lawn's green. That's all I know. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, you got a ticket or what, what did you get last oh my gosh <laughs> and then my husband said i didn't even explain it right and he said you explained it like this and i'm like yeah exactly that's what i meant so well, we got a ticket because we were watering on the wrong day, the wrong day. yes but we thought it was set for the right day it we weren't over like we weren't using more water than mm -hmm. we were supposed to use it just the calendar on the actual thing was wrong off we yes. were like off a day so it was scheduled for the right day it was just off we don't know how it happened like maybe the battery or maybe it's so it's not electric it's not uh, well on your on your timers you also do have battery backup as well all right so we've lost electricity a lot and this that year. that can default mm, like, like triggers, a default yeah. memory mm -hmm. yeah. yes and so so it said i could pay 25 uh so the fine is only 25 dollars. they said i could fight it for 25 dollars, <laughs> like, and i have to go to court and everything i'm like just pay the 25 dollars dang was, i didn't really give you a 25 is that your first one or your first it was the second but we second but okay. we he checked it and it was like it's set for a tuesday or Wednesday, right. whatever we're supposed to be set right. for but it was it was the wrong day at the day you know what yeah. i'm saying right yeah. <laughs> if he hears this he's gonna be like you're explaining it wrong again <laughs> like, and it's not his fault let no. me just make sure everybody knows it is not my husband's fault the timer did it. You are in the clear, darling. <laughs> and again all this will be taken care of with rick um so tell me a little bit what would be your ideal uh customer right now because i know i'm sitting i'm in like I, i'm talking to realtors and and I'm just saying, what I mean, for if it was a realtor, how would you how would you recommend? So, so this is a huge service that a realtor can provide their client. Um, we were just out at another property list um, last week. Uh, they've only been here in Central Florida for two weeks. Okay, they had a pipe underneath the tree 
that was leaking water into the street. Okay. Okay. And then the rain sensor that was on the house was really not on the house. It was hanging. So All right. Like so, so, yeah, just dangling off the roof. So, oh, no. So he had no idea. Uh, 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 so this is a huge... Um, he didn't know anything about his plants. He didn't know anything about his grass. You know, it's, down here, it's weeds for them. Mm-hmm. No, really? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, they, they have rye and, you know, different gr- different other uh, types of grasses up north that we don't have here. Or no grass. Like, uh, if they're living in the city, it's yeah. just, I mean, yeah, yeah right. they don't have yards. Yeah, so we're... Uh, most home inspectors do not provide this with their home inspection. Uh, I, and I find they, that ridiculous. It's they, one of they those don't, things that yeah. I'm just like so shocked that it's just not like a requirement. They'll, they'll go out, okay, it works. That's it. Turn well, it on, turn it off. T- turn it on, turn it off. They don't actually physically walk out, make sure that, you know, all the heads are, are popping up, mm-hmm. none of them are clogged, you're not leaking, which means you're not wasting water. You know that the rain sensor is 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 working or not, so they don't go through and give it a detailed inspection. Yeah, well, we I mean I told the story before, but we got bit with that when we bought our house, and that um, you know we went through the whole thing, and I never even once thought about the irrigation system, and um, from the minute we bought the house, it just was the biggest pain in the neck, and Tom was constantly trying to figure out what <laughs> went to where, what went over here, and this wasn't watering right, and it caused him so much stress. And yeah. <laughs> Alyssa's shaking her head, she's like, yeah, yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> um, just not knowing the zones and, um, and everything like that. So I'm actually really shocked that it's not more of a requirement for yeah. buying and selling and, homes. And we also offer a class where if, if if the homeowner is new to our area or has no idea, we'll come out and we'll actually show them how to run it. Is that via Zoom? How did they, How does that work? No, so we actually will go out to the property. Oh, okay. That's, That's really yes. cool. <laughs> and show them, okay, zone one is here, zone three is here. You know, you got a drip line and, uh, you know, the, this is how you set your timer. How much does that cost? Uh, it, it it's around a hundred and a quarter. That's for, not bad at all yeah. to be taught how to manage your own irrigation. How system? many men will do it though? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I think your uh, audience there is definitely women. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I would totally He's pay one hundred twenty-five. Like, if I had bought a house, it was just me. If I have to ask my husband to be taught to, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would just pay My him. husband hates irrigation. He'd be all for it. You yeah. Know, like show, show her how to do it. <laughs> but a lot of uh, homeowners, you know, their husbands are out working and they're managing the home, you know, mm-hmm. then they don't know. Yeah. You know, and this is just knowledge. This is putting knowledge in their, you know, this is how you set it and, you know, change the time if you need to or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is, uh, I, this makes me feel like we go back to where Emily, her, her, advice you'd give her to the younger self is to <laughs> allocate them out to the people that know how to do it. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, right. So, um, so you do residential, do you do any commercial uh, stuff as well? We do. Um, most of our service is residential though. Okay. Um, but the commercial stuff, is that like apartment complexes? And things? Uh, it'd be office buildings, uh, shopping centers, apartment complexes, um, uh, um, Places they don't want to be spraying their parking lots and their customers. Right. <laughs> Restaurants and all that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I think we have like, well, we have a, we have three minutes left in the show, right? Um, so give us a list of all the services that you offer, Rick. So we have a um, we have an, an inspection program mm-hmm. to come out and do a full system evaluation. Uh, we have a membership program, mm-hmm. uh, which we come out uh, two times a year and run through your system, make sure everything is is working as what it needs to be, mm-hmm. and, uh, stuff. And then we have the the, the stuff orientation, mm-hmm. which will come out and we'll teach you how to turn on and off your system and um, you know mm-hmm. uh, make sure that you know what's mm-hmm. going on. And those, like I said, I see those as all being super important. So um, we're kind of at that point in the show where we have about two minutes left. So what I'd like to do is just kind of do a little circle around the room, give everybody the opportunity to uh, let people know who you are, 
um, and how to get in touch with you. So at least Alyssa, please let everybody know, like a, just a little recap. I'm the owner of, uh, I'm Alyssa, I'm the owner of Diamond Cryo. You can get in touch with me at diamondcryo.net, instagram.com um, slash diamond cryo under, slash diamond underscore cryo, or if, look me up on Facebook at Diamond Cryo. You can also Google me and there will be my email address and my phone number. Mm -hmm. And then also just so everybody knows that uh, her location is actually inside of Artistic Beauty in Winter Park and it's got a great parking lot so that always works out good. Um, I, I always find that like people have brick and mortar, their parking lot is so yeah. important. Rick, get everybody your contact info. Rick Hall with Ground Up Property Services, 407-468-4295 groundupinc.net is our website mm -hmm. uh, and we're on facebook as well as ground up property services incorporated yeah. all right awesome do you want to heather you want to swing that microphone over to melissa real quick because she's back i'm back <laughs> um i do photography and videography for businesses you can find me on all the social media platforms by searching striking brand or you can email me directly melissa at strikingbrand.com all right, and Ms. M? Emily Murphy, Weight Loss and Mindset Coach. Uh, you can find me at gogetemcoach.com or resetwithemily.com to get to my Facebook. All right, and I am Angela Smarito with JVC Broadcasting. You can reach me at 321-303-6424, and you can get all my contact info at badradio.com. Have a fantastic week, and tune in next week for our next guest. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay.